Welcome to weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. There's a new bill to ban all DJI drones for all users, so please pay attention to this one. A Philly YouTuber goes back to court and is in deep trouble again. We have the Winter One that gets LiDAR, and then finally, Airware is getting the Fryer locations. Let's get to it. First up this week, this is a very important bill that just came up from the uh, US uh, House of Representatives. It's called the Countering CCP Drones Act, or HR 2864, if you want to look it up. Now, the bill would revoke all FCC authorizations for existing and future DJI drones, which, well, would affect you if you own one of these drones. Now, for those of you that don't know, the FCC actually issues approvals for anything that transmits radio frequencies. So the revocation of DJI's approval would mean that no drone could basically transmit radio frequencies, which, well, as you can guess, is not good. Now, this would affect all users of DJI drones, including those that fly for recreational purposes and also fly for, well, non-critical infrastructures. Uh, the bill is currently uh, sponsored by Wisconsin Republican Representative Mike Gallagher. Uh, he's repeatedly tried to put this in place for a while now, has failed every time, and hopefully he fails again. The other sponsors are Corey Mills, a Florida Republican. We have Michael Guest, who's a Mississippi Republican, and an and John Mullinar, who's a Michigan Republican. So uh, please reach out to your representative. We're gonna put a link down here. It takes about 30 seconds to do so. Uh, more than a thousand people have actually done that at the time of recording, uh, which is two days before you're gonna watch this video. So please, please, please be one of those. If you don't agree with this, go in here and take action. Uh, it's gonna send a message directly to your representative, especially if you live in one of those areas and the four people that I named are one of your representative, make sure that you go talk to them. Uh, this will destroy the UAS industry. We've mentioned this before when he tried to do this. Uh, it failed at the time, but it's not too late for him to succeed. So make sure, make sure you take action. Uh, we'll keep you updated when we hear more on this uh, developing story, but yeah, this is not good. Okay, second up this week is also something not good. Uh, trouble for Philly Drone Life. He's a YouTuber that's known for having that $182,000 fine that was uh, proposed against him by the FAA for flying dangerously back in 2021. Now, there's a new complaint that was filed in the Eastern District of Pennsylvania that states that the YouTuber has allegedly been warned and counseled and educated three times by the FAA. The complaint also goes to state that he continues to uh, knowingly violate regulations and then list 26 different incidents that uh, he committed between December 29th of 2019 and then August 4th of 2020, and then the violation for each of these flights. Now, I find this interesting because uh, there's no current violation. They're actually basically going back to the violations that were filed initially uh, when that $182,000 complaint came out. Uh, the complaint also assigns a value of $1,500 for each of the violation uh, under the Federal Aviation Regulation, and that's the total of $182,000 in fines. Uh, the violation include, and the list is long, acting as an airman without a, an airman certificate, careless and reckless operation, operation without a strobe light at night, operating beyond visual line of sight, operating over human beings, operating within a controlled airspace without airspace approval. The court at this stage seeks for him to pay the total amount of the fines along with interest, and then also a permanent injunction on operating a drone not in full compliance with either Part 107 or 49 USC 44809, which is the regulation for uh, recreational flying. Now, this would mean that if he continues to violate Part 107 or 44809, that a warrant could be issued for his arrest. Now, we'll keep you updated if we hear more about this case, but uh, this doesn't look good at all. Okay, third up this week, something a little more joyful. We have Wingtra that has released a new LiDAR unit for their Wingtra Gen 2. The unit has a vertical accuracy of three centimeters for, uh, from 200 feet high, and then the capability of mapping out 890 acres in a single flight. That's huge. Uh, this is definitely a game changer for those that are doing mapping, and then LiDAR uh, who do large areas. Now, the LiDAR payload comes in at about $6,000, according to the head of sales at Wingtra, which is quite frankly a, a very fair, probably even on the cheap side of uh, LiDAR units. Now, that's pretty cool. Uh, we uh, wonder if actually our friend Jared, who's been teaching our mapping course, is going to get one of those. 
And last up this week is uh, Aloft Airware. Uh, you guys ask and we heard your request. So you are now able to get the FRIA, the uh, FAA Recognized Identification Area. Uh, all those maps are added to the app so you can see where you can fly your drone without having to uh, use Remote ID. Now we're excited to continue to add new features to Airware uh, as we work with Aloft to well, listen to your comments and uh, basically make the changes. So. Let us know in here what else you would like to see. We have another update that's coming out very soon with some of the things that you have requested. This will be uh, the second big update that we do to the app with Aloft. And uh, yeah, that's about all we have. So thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Now there's a new complaint that was... Penny, I can't even say his name. Michael D. Quirko. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> and comment. <laughs> Comments are gonna happen on this one.